have reached the last step, configuration and commissioning of the storage system. The inverter, the battery and the meter should all be mounted and connected at this point. First, turn the battery auxiliary switch and circuit breakers on. Insert the activation card supplied with the inverter into the slot on the inverter communication board. After the activation is completed, we will upgrade the inverter's firmware. Use the link below to obtain the latest firmware and copy it to a micro SD card. Turn off the inverter's AC power. Replace the activation card with the micro SD card and turn the inverter's AC breaker on. The LCD will indicate the progress of the upgrade. Once done will be shown, we can start the configuration. System configuration is done through the inverter and is identical for storage interface and for storage inverter systems. On HD wave inverters, this is best done with the cover closed, while the storage inverter is configured with the cover open. To enter the configuration menu, push and hold down the OK or Enter button for about 5 seconds. The HD wave inverter will display the shown screen. When it appears, release the button. The storage inverter will immediately display the password screen. The password for HD wave inverters is up down OK, up down OK, up down. For storage inverters, the password is 1231212. We now enter the inverter configuration menu. Use the up and down buttons to scroll and the OK or Enter button to make a selection. Select Communication. We will now configure the RS485 bus. Select RS485 one conf and then select Device Type. Set it to Multi Devices. We will now configure the meter. Select Meter 1. Set Device Type to Revenue Meter. Protocol should be preset to Watt Node and the Device ID should be 2. CT Rating will automatically indicate the current rating of the current transformers that you installed. If not, configure as shown. Meter function should be set to export and import if the meter is installed at the grid connection point. Scroll through the RS485 1Conf screen and verify that your inputs and selections were applied. Note that topology and PT scaling will automatically be set to Y and 1. If needed, you can change these settings. After going back one menu by pressing Escape, we can configure the battery. Scroll down and select Battery 1. Device type should be preset to Battery Pack. Protocol should be LG and Device ID should be 15. Now return to the main menu Select Power Control, Energy Manager, Energy Control, and select Maximize Self Consumption. This will ensure that PV energy and battery stored energy are prioritized over grid purchased energy. For other use cases, please refer to the Storage Connection and Configuration Guide. Configuration of the storage system is now complete. Press Escape to exit the configuration menu. Now we should verify that the meter, battery and internet connection are working properly. Push the OK LCD button several times until you see the communication screen. Verify that SOK is showing. This confirms that the internet connection is working. Push the OK LCD button several more times until you see the RS485 screen. The two numbers on the right show the number of configured devices and the number of detected devices. Verify the correct number is displayed. Two in our case. Proceed to the battery status screen. Verify that the battery serial number is correctly detected. Great! Now we can turn the system on. 
repairing the inverter and optimizers will be our next step. The cover must be installed at this point. Verify the inverter on-off switch is off. Push and hold the OK LCD button for about 5 seconds. Keep holding the button until the following screen is displayed. Now turn the inverter on-off switch to on. After the pairing is completed, it will take several minutes for the inverter to start producing power as the inverter verifies grid stability. Verify that POK shows the correct number of installed power optimizers. Please allow a few minutes for the inverter to detect all power optimizers. Congratulations! Your storage system is now installed and ready to go. Don't forget to set up a site for this system on the SolarEdge monitoring platform to allow full visibility of PV system and battery performance. You can add device control to the system for home automation and to further maximize self-consumption.